We can also add or subtract complex fractions. And a method for doing that is to find the least common denominator of the denominators. Then the denominators are all eliminated by multiplying by the LCD. So we're gonna look at the denominators of the smaller fractions. I'm talking about the physically smaller fractions. That would be the fractions within the fractions like one over X and X over Y. So the common denominator of just those two fractions would be XY. So I'm gonna multiply the numerator and the denominator by XY. And the reason this works is because I'm just multiplying XY over XY, which is the same as multiplying it times one. And if I multiply anything times one, I get the same value. It may look different, but it's still the same value. So I have to distribute that XY into the one as well. And so that's going to give me XY. And then when I take XY times one over X, well, the X's are going to cancel, leaving me just plus Y over and then the same in the denominator, xy times one is xy. And then when I take xy times x over y, the y's cancel, leaving me negative x times x, which is negative x squared. Again, you should try to factor, and both the numerator and the denominator do factor. I could factor a y out of the numerator, and that would give me x plus one. And in the denominator, I can factor out an x, and that would leave me with y minus x. But factoring those out actually doesn't help me cancel any numerators or denominators. So I would accept either answer, either here or here. So trying one more, this time we have polynomial denominators. So they're already factored out, so we don't have to worry about factoring, but since we have 3x plus 2 and x minus 9, that is going to be the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator times x minus 9 and 3x plus 2. So every fraction gets multiplied by this. So when you multiply 8 over x minus 9s, times x minus 9, 3x plus 2, the x minus 9s are going to cancel. So I just have to take 8 times the 3x plus 2, and 8, if I go ahead and distribute that, times 3x plus 2 is going to be 24x plus 16. Now, I also have to multiply the x over 3x plus 2 times that same common denominator. So this time the 3x plus 2's cancel, and I'm left with negative x, that is a negative x right there, times x minus 9, which will be negative x squared, and negative x times negative 9 is positive 9. All over, and then do we do the same thing in the denominator. So this time the 3x plus 2's would cancel, and that would give me 3 times x minus 9, which is 3x minus 27. For the second fraction, we can only have the x minus 9s cancel out. So I have 4x times 3x plus 2, and that's going to be 12x squared plus 8x. Combine your like terms. I do have a negative x squared in the numerator. I have 24x and 9x, and that's positive 33x plus 16. All over, and in the denominator, I have 12x squared. I have 3x and 8x, and that will give me 11x plus 27. Once again, see if you can uh, factor anything out of the numerator or the denominator that cancel each other out. You can't do so on this one, so once again, this will be our final answer.